uh, to Godly Thoughts with um, Komatase. Today we are talking about honor, respect, and acceptance. Being honored by people. Uh, we are taking our scripture from, uh, we have already said that, okay. Uh, Mark 6, uh, verse 12. Okay, so what we are talking about is Jesus saying, a prophet has no honor in his own hometown, in his own backyard. People don't respect him. Jesus went around performing miracles, but when he came to his own hometown, <coughs> he couldn't do anything. In fact, he did just a few miracles because people did not believe in him. So in Mark 6, Jesus is saying, a prophet has no honor in his own hometown. It doesn't matter how great you are. The people in your hometown will always see you the way they knew you when you were a child. They will always see you the way they knew you when you were meaningless and when you were not contributing to society. Let me tell you, sometimes you need to move out from where you are staying to be meaningful in life. You are starting your project, you are starting whatever you are doing, but you know it's not doing well in that place. You need to move from that place and go somewhere else. Because where you are going, people will respect you. They know nothing about your past. They know nothing about your background. They don't judge you based on what they know about you in your past. They judge you based on what you are doing there and then. I have read the story of Abraham and it always amazed me that among the first instructions Abraham is given before God makes him a great nation is that he had to leave his own parents and the people that he grew up with. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what project you want to do, sometimes you need to go to a completely new place. And in that completely new place, the opportunities that you get, the synergies that you make, the attachments that you make are very different from the ones you had where you grew up. Have you ever noticed that even after you are married, as long as you are staying in the place you got married in, people always call you with your first name? If your name is Gibi and you get married and now you have three kids, people never call you Baba Tate. They always say Mkoma Gibi, Seguru Gibi. <laughs> because to them you'll always be that guy you were back then. You will never be anything better. And that has a bearing on your self-esteem. And that has a bearing on your attitude towards success and progress. If you want to progress, if you want to succeed, you will need to consider making new alliances elsewhere. Sometimes we feel like we belong where we were born and we shouldn't move a lot. But when you embark on something that is serious, something that needs to grow, you may need to move away. You may need to gain honor by going to a different place. You know, this is why people go to South Africa and they seem to do better there. It's not just the economy. You go to South Africa and you get yourself a whole new identity there. People don't know you as the failure, a person who couldn't get five all levels there. People don't know you as the person who once worked their bed there. People in South Africa or in Zambia don't know you as the person who once uh, lost his father's cows and had to look for them for six days. People don't know you based on the things that you failed to do in life. They know you based on the capac capacities and capabilities that you may have. I'm not suggesting that for you to succeed, you need to go to a completely different country, just a different community. Sometimes you don't even need to be at the church where you grew up in. You need to, to, to go to a completely different place and work for God there. You'll be respected there. A complete change of environment gives you different opportunities. I want to challenge someone and say, look at the way you are being treated where you grew up. Is it perfect? Is it the way you would rather be treated? If it is the way you would rather be treated, then that's fine. But if you think they can treat you better, but if you think there are better opportunities, maybe go elsewhere. But seek God first before you move to know what God wants you to do and who you want you to become. There are cases where some people were only respected after they had gone someplace elsewhere, succeeded there, came back and showed people their success, and then they were accepted. But in most cases, with the magnitude of the miracles that Jesus did, they still said he is just the son of Joseph the carpenter. He is just the son of Mary. So we need to understand that sometimes a change of environment is a prerequisite for us to succeed in life. What environment are you going to change? Where are you going to go? You want to start your company in the same place you grew up? People may not support you the same way they would if they did not know you. Otherwise, yes, we think about that. Uh, ciao and enjoy the rest of your day.